day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the uh, our videos that we're sending. I'm going to continue to keep sending videos because I want to sit there and share what God is talking to us about. It's about studying the Word of God. We encourage you to do your own studies. But the fact is, that's what we're here to do. We, we want to get into the Word of God, study the Word of God, and see how it applies in our everyday life. That's what it's all about. How does this Word translate into our life? Because we're talking about scriptures, written with, with wisdom and the inspiration of the Holy Spirit 2,000 years ago, as well as uh, thousands, thousands of years prior to that when Israel took over and left Egypt. Uh, most people understand is that it's, truth is truth, no matter what season, what, what year, truth is truth. And this study we're talking about was talking about the uh, murmuring and complaining. And murmuring and complaining uh, about our situation instead of speaking into the overcoming of those things that we don't like. We, the children of Israel, those scriptures that we that you're going to see us read, it's going to show about the fact is that when the children of Israel, which we also will point out in this video, uh, is an example, is a sample of man, kind. And most people sit there and think that, well, you know, if that was us, I wouldn't do it. That That's, I don't think so. I don't think so, at least at the beginning of time. I think that he could have chosen any group of people and they would have did the same thing. People coming out of adultery, people coming out of bondage, people who were once held in, in captivity, now free, and then whether they, they still conform back to the place that they came from, or they form conforming to the image of the dear son. See, the thing about it is, there's people that sit there and, and, and will sit there and say, well, you know, you, you came from Europe, or you came from Africa, or you came from Cuba, you came from, from Asia, you came from China, you came from different places. And people will sit there, people, people, and, and that's all of us, will sometimes try to put people in a box and say, because you came from this group, that's how you are. Some people will sit there because you made a mistake and will keep them trying to say that this is how you are. I'm telling you, that is not how God has ordained you to be and not how God ordained me to be. God wants us to be renewed in our mind constantly to the image of God, transforming. Be ye renewed, right? Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed. Transformed means that's a change, right? From what you or who you are to what he wants you to be. Now, as long as we want to keep holding on, the same thing about children of Israel, and we're talking about going through this wilderness and everything else. Every time things got rough, they wanted to go back to Egypt. I should have brought that out more into the scripture too, but what I wanted to bring out most in the scripture was their murmuring and complaining. In a lot of cases, they murmured and complained toward Moses and Aaron, but God took that murmuring and complaining toward him. And bring this up to 2020 your circumstances where you are or what happened to you in your past and anything that somebody did to you that's wrong are you still murmuring and complaining about those things or are you complaining about the job that he blessed you with that you asked for are you complaining about the car that he gave you are you complaining about the house are you complaining about the bills that you have that God gave you the ability to acquire the things that obviously these bills came from. Well, think about it. So is it possible that our murmuring 
of our circumstances is what's keeping us in our circumstances, opposed to our saying, Lord, I thank you that you got this situation under control. Lord, I thank you that you're going to give us the victory. Lord, I thank you that I already have the victory. Lord, I thank you that you'll never leave me nor forsake me. You will give me the victory. I'm just saying, are we speaking more to give the problem strength instead of the victory to give God the strength in our life? The joy of the Lord is our strength, not our complaining, not our sadness, but the joy of the Lord is our victory. So I'm going to sit there and, 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 and I'm going to use this. This is this video we just had. This is on the 17th of May. And you know what? I, I, I'm, one of the things about trying to do the videos, uh, I, I, I break them up because obviously we talk for a long time. And that's good. This fellowshipping and the word, getting into the word and trying to uh, deal with the things that's going on in this world. That's fine, but it is long. So therefore we do break them up. I go part A, part B, part C. And, and, and so, the introductions I try to give is try to give us a synopsis of what we talked about. And I may sit there and use this uh, intro, this commentary throughout each of the segments because all the segments, this is wrapping the fact is, are we murmuring, complaining? And is that really messing up our blessing? Because if we're murmuring, complaining to against God, is that messing up our blessings? Yes, we got issues, but are we including God in the answers? Or are we sitting there saying, why you give me, why you give me this wife? Why you give me this husband? Why you give me this house? Why you give me this car? Why you give me this job? Why you give me this, 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 these children? Opposed to saying, thank you, Lord bless me with a nice home. Thank you for blessing me with a car. Thank you for blessing me for, with these children. Thank you for blessing me for this lovely wife. You can say this, Lord, thank you for blessing me for this nice husband. Because you want, I'm going to tell you something. If you keep looking at somebody else's life, you will find out, you'll be like, Lord, whoa, whoa, whoa. That ain't that bad. You're right. You're right. There's some people that have some bad things and you're sitting there thinking that they have it. And you, you, if you had what they had, a lot of cases you'd be crying. So, so start appreciating what the Lord has given you. And I'm not saying be content to stay there, but be content in the fact is that I thank you for what you've given me. I thank you for what you're blessing me. You're giving me this day. I like the fact my mom said, this is the day the Lord has made. I rejoice, be glad in it, hallelujah. There's some people that don't have this day. Or there's some people who have this day, but they can't get out of the bed. Or they're sick. Or they're crippled. There's some people that had some bad days. But you made it through your day. Give God praise for the days that you that he gives you. Pray your way through the wilderness. Because there's going to be a lot of wilderness that you're going to have to pass through in life. And the question is, are you going to murmur and complain every step of the way? Or are you going to praise God for the victory to get you through? I say we praise God for the victory to get us through. Amen? All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I may do it again. The same commentary may go on the next one. It may not. We'll see. But anyway, I, I really do appreciate you taking the time to listen. And uh, feel, feel free to join us uh, anytime. You, I put the slide up there, the, uh, the conference room. We start around 8. You can say 8.15 if you like. Uh, but we're there until about 10 o'clock. So you can, if you, you don't have to join in exactly at 8, you can join in at uh, 8.15, 8.20, 8.30, 9, 9.30. You know, Tim, we're going to start wrapping it up. But God bless you. You just showed up and still blessing us too. And if you got a word of encouragement, give, give it to us. Amen? All right. So I hope you enjoy our videos. And I hope you keep coming and watching them. And guess what? Ain't nobody getting paid for those. We're doing it because we're getting a blessing from the Lord. And you're blessing if you participate as well or just observe it. Amen? At least from my perspective.
So, all right. God bless you, and I'll check you later. Bye bye. I got a lot of I got a lot of information. Yeah, I seen and, all them slides. <laughs> but we, we, you know, we don't try to get through them all. We might try to catch them on Thursday. <laughs> but but I, I tell you, man, this is I think this one is the challenge. This is the challenge. This is this is one of the hardest ones that mankind has been famous for doing. All right. So so uh -oh. so what we're gonna do is have Brother Jackson give us a prayer. And then we'll we'll go ahead and uh, bring up the slides. All Amen. right. Amen. All right. Let us pray. Dear Father in heaven, Lord, you are always worthy to be worshipped, to be glorified, uh, to be re revered, dear Father. And we thank you this morning that you've given us resources that we could come together, yes. fellowship in this format. Yes. And learn more about your word. Yes. Learn more about how we can serve you. Learn more about how our lives can be more intimate with you. Yeah. We thank you for your son, Jesus, dear father, who made that impossible way possible through his life, his suffering, his death, and his resurrection. Hallelujah, dear father. Thank you for grace. Yes. Undeserved. Yeah. And it can never be earned except by your son, Jesus. Yes. We thank you that he obeyed you and that he loved us yes. even when we were his enemies. Mm. Mm. We thank you, dear father, that you've given us this time again to, to come together and just learn about this relationship. And we want to learn more and more, dear Lord, so that we know how to apply your word in our, our lives. Yes, Lord. Father, we pray for those who are suffering now. Hmm. We pray for those who are on the front lines in, in all different kinds of capacities. We pray for those who may feel lost. Yes. We pray for those who need hope. We pray for those who are perhaps doubting their faith, dear Lord. Yes. We just ask that you be in their lives. Let them know that you you are there, that you are real. Yes. And then all they've got to do is turn to you. Turn to you. Lord, allow us to be a beacon this week yes. with whomever we come into contact with so that they can see Jesus in us. Come on now. And become closer to you. Yes. Lord, we are ready for another renewing of our minds. As we get into your word this morning, we we I, I I ask you to bless all the preachers and teachers this morning who are out speaking your gospel, serving you. Many are unsung heroes, dear Father, to the world, but to you, they are mighty soul singers. Mm. And we just thank you. Thank you, Lord. And I thank you. And we say all these things in Jesus' precious and holy name. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Man, I tell you, but Brother Jackson, this one I think is hard because of the the our challenges as 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 men and, and as as uh and just just as human beings, one of the things that we definitely uh have to deal with and I think has been a hindrance to us is the is murmuring to murmur, right? Murmur and mm. complain it. And, and, mm. and y'all seen it, right? Y'all seen it in the scripture. We're going to even cover uh, the scripture that's going to talk about murmuring and complaining. All right? <laughs> Look at Brother All right. He's already... Well, I'm, I'm, I'm already thinking because <laughs> I think there's a difference between murmuring and uh -huh. complaining yes, sir. and murmuring and complaining about God. Yes, to God. Well, see, and, and, and that's what we're going to bring out in these scriptures. As a matter of fact, I'll let you read them, the first, <laughs> the first set. And, and, you know, we might we might slow down as we read them, but I, because, I, you know, like, right now I'm just reading the, uh, giving you the scriptures that has the bird murmuring, you know, okay. murmuring it, right? Yes. But, you know, there's obviously more content, because I've I'm, I'm, I got like four or five or seven of them. 
right? Uh -huh. But but yeah. read them. You can you go check out. So read the first one. Okay. Exodus sixteen seven. Yes, sir. And in the morning, then ye shall see the glory of the Lord. Right. For that he heareth your murmuring against uh -huh. the Lord. Against uh -huh. the Lord. Yes. And what are we? Uh -huh. That we murmur against us. Now, now look, see, now, now I want to catch it. See, a lot of cases, we're murmuring against, like you know that in Israel with Moses. Yeah. They were murmuring against him. They, they didn't specifically say God. Yeah. A lot of cases, they kept saying him. Yes. And, and so a lot of cases when we're murmuring, right, we, we, we think we're focusing on who that they, they, they blame it on. But the question is, is that something that God is trying to make view as you murmuring against him? Because if he's the one leading you and guiding you, because he did lead them into the wilderness, right? Yeah. Yes. And, and, and another thing you ever noticed was, he led Jesus into the wilderness. Yes. Right? The Holy Spirit. You did not see Jesus complaining or murmuring. Matter of fact, he spent most of the time re responding back to what the enemy had to say. Right? Yep. So so I, I that's what I want to say. I think I think that's the hardest thing against us is sometimes if we I can see where you say you're speaking to the problem, meaning, God, you're going to get me through this. Lord, I know that there's a way out of this. I know there's a, I know we can make this, right? In other words, I'm speaking against the problem, not endorsing the problem, not amplifying the problem, all right? Just, just a thought, all right? Read the next one. All right, 16.8. <laughs> and Moses said, this shall be. Uh -huh. When the Lord shall give you in the evening flesh to eat, uh -huh. and in the morning bread to the full, right? For that the Lord heareth your murmuring, which ye murmur against Him. <laughs> and what are we? Your murmurings are not against us, but against the Lord. Come on now, and you know good well they will complain about the fact they were hungry. You know they'll complain about that mama, right? Yeah. But but they won't specifically say, God. I'm just saying. Man, this oatmeal. I'm eating this oatmeal every day. I'm getting tired of it. <laughs> Where's the bacon? <laughs> and the thing I'm getting out of it is they were, and I'm not even saying they had valid complaints, right? You know, like I understand some people want their bacon, right? And, and the <laughs> eggs, and some people want orange juice and apples or whatever, and they said, are we getting this mama? So, and you, if you remember that scripture, when the, he brought those birds there for them to eat, and while they were eating, some of them he struck dead, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> he, he just like, I'm getting rid of you. <laughs> now, 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 let me see. You got one more. Read one more there. <laughs> okay, 14.27 in Numbers. How long shall I bear with this evil congregation, <laughs> which murmurs against me? Uh -huh. I've heard the murmuring of the children of Israel, right. which they murmur against me. Right. <laughs> See, God takes it toward him. Even though Moses was the one that was the leader going into the wilderness, mm -hmm. God is looking at the fact you you you're not you're not asking him, you're not you're not requesting for him to deliver you. You when we complain about situations. And you know, I, the reason I got to this guy, and you can see where I'm going, you can see it already. But I was, my mom and I was talking, and we was talking about, uh, I'll, go, I'll go ahead and name this thing, the Joseph factor, because Joseph was another good example where he was carried away into uh, slavery. You know, he went to Potiphar house, then, then, then they, they, they set him up and sent him to prison. Uh, and, and, it, and it took a while before he got to being the second highest ruler in Egypt. It, <laughs> and my point is, I never in the text heard Joseph complaining. Amen. And I just Amen. wonder whether when we complain about where we are, especially when we ask to go where we want to go, and I mean, as we do ask God bless us with a promotion, right? 
We, we ask right. God to bless her with a job. We ask God to bless her with a family. We ask God to give us a wife, give us children, right? We, we, we ask for these things. Car. <laughs> we ask for these things. And then when they don't, you know, when Sunday write about it, how much credence did we put into our complaints? Right? Amen. So that's why I'm saying it's the hardest thing because I agree where you're coming from. Am I complaining against God or am I complaining against what I consider the source of my issue? Yeah. Right? But, right. but the question is, how does God take your complaining? Because the question is, what do my description say? Everything give thanks. Amen. All right. All right. <laughs> so, so, so the question is, when we're in a bad situation, are we, uh, how are we addressing it? Are we addressing like, why God did you put me in this situation? Why are you giving this knucklehead child? Why are you giving this, you know, this, this wife? You know, why, why, yeah. why, why, why? why? <laughs> now, now, the person you're complaining against is the woman or the child or the job, but who gave it to you? Right. <laughs> And, well, go ahead. Uh, sometimes, you know, we'll, we'll pray for something specific from God and accept something that's not. Yes. You know, uh, out of impatience uh -huh. or out of necessity. Yes, sir. Um, we'll, we'll accept something that, that Satan sends, uh -huh. you know, uh, that, that's close to what we desire. Right. Um, and then they're, they're, is the uh the disconnect yes you know so you could you could pray for a wife or a husband and then thinking god had sent a specific person and it's not the one because you caught up in the person instead of the the one who's sending the person yeah you know checking to make sure that this is the person with the person who's supposed to be sending them to you right so <laughs> Right. You know, you 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 do that, and of course, even even in that 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 union can still be blessed once you uh, bring it under the obedience of God's uh, uh, structure, exactly, and, and and plan for it. Right. You know, God can change, turn turn anything around. What's bad for your good? Yes, sir. But outside of that, you know, there there's uh, <laughs> there's going to be some things that aren't going to work. Yeah, you know, the way yeah. the way you. you I guess the way God had it set up, right. you know, you now you don't have God's best. You have what you thought was the best thing for you. Yes, sir. So it's the same thing with a car. Yeah. You know, or any other thing, you know, you desire a vehicle, you know, God, I need you to help me with a vehicle. I'm walking, you know, I need me a vehicle. And then of course, you know, the enemy is always right there. He, right. He, I mean, he was there with Jesus. So what right. makes you think you any better? Right. So he, he'll, he'll uh, pull some strings, you know. I mean, people listen to him more than they listen to God. Come on. So, uh, you know, somebody will offer you a great deal on a vehicle that starts falling apart. You know, you get a lemon. Right. <laughs> instead of a lime. Yeah. But, you know, they, <laughs> let's, talk, let's, talk, let's talk with the fact is that uh, let's use the car, right? Like you just yeah. said, right? Now, how about the fact is why you're still getting a ride to work some kind of way, right? Obviously, you got a ride, you got a job, so you got there. And maybe somebody is the one taking you there. Let's say Brother Jackson is the one that is, is the one that's uh, giving you the ride every morning. And you appreciate what he's doing, but you prefer if you had your own ride, right? Mm -hmm. So while you're waiting for it, you know, say, Lord, I thank you for giving me a transportation to get to work. I really do appreciate that. I wish I could, I wish I could get uh, 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 my own transportation. Now, let's say you got the transportation. Lord, I thank you for giving me this car. Lord, I, now, Lord, I just ask you to give me some wisdom on how to make, keep this car running. Uh, you know what I mean? In other words, speaking to the, the solution. Yes. Not so much to say, Lord, why you give me this car? Because you asked for a car. 
Yeah. Well, Lord, I, I, I ain't asked for this one. No, but you specifically asked for a car. Now, if you wanted a red rooster or a road runner or, yeah, or, yeah. or, or you should have said that, and then you wouldn't accept anything else other than what you asked for. Mm -hmm. But if you sit there and select something that you didn't ask for, then you get what you deserve. <laughs> I tell just yeah. saying. Just saying. All right. Now, the so, so next one, let's see here. <laughs> so you see why I can say it's hard, right? When you actually put this together, this is not easy. Now, try those right there. Okay, numbers 1436. Yes, sir. All right. <clears throat> and the men, which Moses sent to search the land, who returned yes, and made all the congregation to murmur against him. Uh -huh. by bringing up a slander upon the land. Uh -huh. Okay. So they 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 and you know what they're slandering and they're 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 talking just negative. Yeah. Cuz land, you know it's funny if you read that story and I think we may cover that one. Let me see. People into waiting. Let me see some people waiting to come in and see what it's a trip ain't it? The the fact is that it's 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 how we approach the situation, right? So so Read, go ahead and uh, so the other words, you know what happened. This is the 14 was after it went into the promised land, yeah. Find out. And we're actually going to cover that maybe Thursday. God, I doubt we're going to get it today, but we'll see, right? All right, yeah, go man, ahead. I can tell you, <laughs> it, it's it's amazing. Before that promised land, Woo! God did everything for them. Come on, brother. Oh, when they got into that promised land, them Come brothers on. had to fight. <laughs> <laughs> That's all they did. <laughs> they had to. They had to take it by force. They, they had to take it by force. They yeah. had to take it, but they had to take it knowing that God is with them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so try try number sixteen. Okay, numbers sixteen eleven. For which cause both thou and all the company are gathered together against the Lord, and what is Aaron that ye murmur against him? See, so they, once again, I'm trying to show you something, right? He, the complaint, the obviously was murmuring against Aaron on this particular case. Yeah, Moses ain't there. Moses ain't there, <laughs> but look who they said, what would God have said, gathered together against him. Yeah. Against God. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you, you can see there's a, there's, a, there's a common thread here. <laughs> yeah. That sometimes... I mean, Go ahead. That's, I mean, uh, well, I don't want to get ahead of us, you know. No, but, you, you keep on. I going. mean, they, they murmured against Jesus, and and even he said, you know, look, God sent you <laughs> priests. He, he said he sent you leaders. Come on. He, he even sent you a king, and you murmured against every last one. And now he, he here he come <laughs> in flesh. Right. And you're still tripping. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. My <laughs> fact, it, it reminds me too about. Where where they said John the Baptist came neither eating nor yeah. drinking, and you you still co complain against it. Yeah. You complain against it, sit there and say that Joker is crazy. Yeah, <laughs> the prophets, all Come of them. They, 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 it, it didn't matter. It did not. You know matter. because you know that there's the lust of the flesh. You know Come it's on. it's it, it it don't like being chastised. <laughs> it don't like being told what to do. Come on. You know, I mean, even when a little kid get told to go to the room under his breath, he sure is murmuring. <laughs> you know, I can I can hear my son, and 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 uh, by the grace of God, he can get to his room without me getting a hold of him. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. That is what I'm trying to say. Is 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 that we we were. We definitely got to say, watch what was coming out of our mouth. You know, the Bible even said, death and life are in the power of the tongue. Yes, yes. Hey, come on now. So the question is, is blessing coming out of our mouth or is, is murmuring, complaining coming out of our mouth? And then if it is, what God got to say about that? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Right. Just saying, just saying. Now. Try to, let me get the next one back up here. And I think I think we definitely driving a point home. 
Where is it at? Okay. <laughs> And that's why I said the hardest thing, uh, because we we really ask ourselves, are we messing up our blessings? Okay. <laughs> Next what? Okay, seventeen <laughs> number seventeen five. Uh huh. <clears throat> and it shall come to pass that the man's rod, whom I shall choose, shall blossom, uh -huh. and I will make to cease. From the from me the murmurings of the children of Israel, whereby they murmur against you. And they murmur against you, right? And, and what the thing they actually identify the fact sometimes you murmur against the the issue or, or or the situation, and they they point it towards somebody else. But God is really recognizing who you really murmuring against. Yeah, it's me. This one I guess the talk about they just showing the uh, remember they're trying to say who who's in charge, right? Is yeah. It, uh, God speaks to me just as much as he speaks to, 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 to Moses or Aaron, mm -hmm. right? So yeah. he said, okay, whatever rod has life in it, even though it's a rod cut from the tree. Yeah, that still, bad boy Bloom. Come on you now. Know. You know who's in charge. <laughs> yeah. He said that, all right? Go ahead, next one. All right, now we're in John 6.43. Jesus therefore answered and said unto them, Murmur not amongst yourselves. Mm -hmm. Which is what we do, right? Come on, Jesus. That, that's <laughs> a hard one now. I know it. He said it. He said it. And, you know, I, I look at it like this. <laughs> you know, you have some siblings and 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 you you have your little your little fights or, or your little murmurings, so to say, right. arguments. And what do your parents say? Y'all, y'all hush. <laughs> All that fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I, I just wonder about it. If, if, instead of praising, I think the Bible, you remember what it's all praising and praising. Something about singing the song, Jesus, praising my Savior all day long. With, mm -hmm. with it's yeah. all the day long. Praising him. <laughs> they, and, you know, and everything gives thanks. <laughs> this is my story. This is my song. There you go. Praising my Savior all the day long. Yeah, now, if yeah. I'm buried and complaining, I think, I think we have a disconnect or praising my Savior all the day long. Well, you know, um, the thing that I see is it's, it's telling us just like you know those of old that we continue to operate in our flesh and what yeah. we've got to be reminded is to yield to the spirit uh, that's within us yes uh, to yield to to god yeah instead of the, what is natural and you know we've said this many times before that is is very natural for us to 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 go by default you know we we for instance this this gathering right here uh -huh. once this is over it's very natural to, by default, to go right back into who we are in the flesh. Yes. But the indication of us walking either in the flesh or in the spirit is what's coming out of our mouth. Yes. Uh, maybe someone could easily say, hey, I, I get and I understand, uh, you know, you, you complaining. Uh -huh. Nevertheless, the Lord says it doesn't make it right. You know, that's that's exactly what the world does. Yes. Blessings that come to us, um, uh, Thanksgiving that comes to us. Come on. Um, <laughs> all of the resources that we, we, we thank God for that come to us. And then when, when we complain about them, that is an indication as to where we are. We are either in the flesh or in the yes. spirit. And we need to uh, make it a habit. Uh, uh -huh to recognize whether or not we're in the spirit. Yes. And then, you know, like what I'm getting from this is, you know, Father, forgive me because I realize, hey, the complaints that I'm having, that's saying to you that I don't appreciate what you've done for me thus far. Yeah.